Trauma can affect how children manage and express their emotions through their behaviors. This process of managing and expressing is called emotional regulation. Like other skills learned during their childhood, children must be taught emotional regulation from an early age. During a traumatic event, internal and external aspects of the environment can become associated with the traumatic experience. These aspects of the trauma can become trauma reminders, which can result in the child being on constant alert to danger and overreacting to perceived threats in their daily lives. This might happen even when the child is not in a dangerous situation. As such, the child might experience difficulties regulating their feelings, which can contribute to emotional and behavioral problems such as mood swings, getting into frequent arguments or physical fights, being jumpy or easily startled, avoiding certain places, situations or people, skipping school, substance abuse, spending time with friends who get into trouble, and having difficulties trusting people. This is Xavier and Liam. Let's look at how their different home environments shape their abilities to regulate their emotions. Xavier grew up in a stable and nurturing home environment. His parents calmly talked to him about his difficult feelings, provided him with reassurance, empathy, and validation, and encouraged him to use healthy coping strategies. This helped Xavier learn to regulate his emotions effectively. On the other hand, Liam grew up in a hurtful and abusive environment where both he and his mother were often hit by his father. These experiences were traumatic for Liam and gave rise to feelings of fear, sadness, and anger. His parents ignored and criticized Liam when he expressed these feelings, which made it difficult for him to regulate his emotions. In his daily life, Liam felt scared whenever he heard loud voices in his environment. The loud voices were a trauma reminder since his father usually raised his voice before hitting him. Ah! Liam found it difficult to cope in a healthy way and often reacted by shouting or hiding under his desk. Sometimes when Liam's feelings were overwhelming, he displayed intense behavioral problems such as aggression or self-harm. When a child reacts in these ways, it is called dysregulation. How can you help a child like Liam? Model and teach healthy emotional regulation skills, such as talking calmly to your partner when resolving a conflict, exercising, or listening to music. Build a safe, healthy, and consistent relationship with a child. Be non-judgmental, acknowledge the child's feelings, and gently explore why he may be feeling this way. Teach the child to differentiate real threats from harmless trauma reminders. Seek professional help if you know of a child who is experiencing frequent episodes of dysregulation. By offering help, protection, and reassurance, children who have been through trauma can be helped to cope with their feelings in healthy ways.